Hello, this is Sean Wallace, also known as the Dark Destroyer from the Chase. Please, please subscribe to the Hoobian Chaser. I'm demanding that you do, otherwise I'm coming to get you. Yeah, the latest of this one is pretty much beyond a joke, isn't it? <laughs> sorry, I'm really sorry. Um, university has just been all over the place and other stuff as well. I just literally had no time, but I am here now, and we're going to finish off how to cosplay the fourth Doctor. So now it's time to move on to the season 18 look, which is designed by the wonderful June Hudson, and is almost entirely burgundy. Uh, this was one of my favourite looks, actually. Probably my favourite of the fourth Doctors, which is a very minority opinion. I'm very certain of that. But I just love the colour scheme here. It's, it's really, really weird, but it works, I think, in my opinion anyway. But, yeah, so if you want to put together this costume, I'm going to help you right now. So, without further ado, let's go! Come 1980, John Nathan Turner became the brand new executive producer, or shall we say, showrunner, of Doctor Who. And he made some rather drastic aesthetic changes to the show, such as Tom's brand new costume. June Hudson created the new, heavier look with the burgundy and purple colour scheme to be introduced in the Leisure Hive. First things first, the scarf has been completely remade for season 18. Not only is it now huge at around 20 feet long, and actually ends up at around 24 feet when it comes to Legopolis, which is quite staggering, but it's also one of the most difficult scarves to get completely done with the original materials, a custom chenille yarn. Naturally, head to DoctorWhoScarf.com for more information and knitting patterns, but of course, a shorter chenille version can be bought from Navazi, and their version is really good. Next up is the brand new burgundy greatcoat, which is the biggest coat that Tom has ever worn. This is available to get from Cosplay Sky, who do a plum version of this coat, which is actually pretty accurate to the original. As for the rest of the costume, well, it ranges from extremely hard to extremely easy. The hardest bit in question would be the shirt, the first one to bear the question marks. There are two routes you can go down for this. Go for the route taken for the 5th and 6th Doctor costumes and sharpie a question mark onto a generic white shirt. Or if you want to go a more accurate-ish route, then Costelli has the shirt as part of a set including a very good alternative to the burgundy paisley waistcoat and the burgundy trousers. Honestly, I'd recommend that set as they are the closest matches you'll ever find to the top half of season 18's look. Except, just buy regular burgundy chinos from your local fashion store, because trousers are fairly dodgy from places like Costelli and Cosplay Sky, and it would just look better having your own. For example, take a look in Next or Debenhams. Now, shoes and socks. As mentioned in the previous video, the Doctor wears his brown leather cuff boots quite often, and that doesn't change with this season. But in a few stories, he wears a combination of brown broke shoes and very high red and black argyle socks. Now, these are pretty much nigh impossible to find given that they were picked out over 30 years ago, but great alts exist on eBay, for example. Check out the red and purple version here. It'll match the scarf if you go for it. Hat. This isn't so important as the burgundy fedora was only really seen in one story, the leisure hive. But if you're a completionist, then go for it. Just search for burgundy fedoras or red fedoras on eBay. And last but not least, the jelly babies. You knew it was coming. Pick up some Jelly Babies from your local supermarket, pick up a few of these bags, and off you go. And please don't turn into a cactus. Just saying. Right, so, of course that is the end of the primary looks of the fourth Doctor. Uh, much like I'm going to do for Eleven, I'm going to revisit him at a later time and deal with his one-off looks. I feel it's probably more beneficial to put them in a separate video rather than cram them all at the end, because I want to just be able to spread them out. Uh, so, ones like from The Deadly Assassin and The Talons of Rain Chaying. Gonna try and cover them as best I can at some point. Um, but yeah, so if you have any requests for a costume that Tom has worn, or even Eleven, or anything like that, feel free to drop them in the comments below, and I will do my best to search them out and stick them in a video that's to come. So, until next time, see ya! I can't believe Sean Wallace said my channel name. <laughs>